Well, just because there is not a baseball season doesn't mean you can't teach baseball. Gene Glenn is a Minnesota native and the infield coordinator for the Miami Marlins. That is on hold, of course, so he's back home teaching baseball with his son. But we'll get a flag up here soon. Looks Gene good. and Gino Glenn, father and son, bonded by baseball. Both played in the minor leagues. Gene coached in the twin system and is now an infield coordinator for the Miami Marlins, missing the routine of baseball. You look for things to do. You try and stay busy because normally this time of year we were busy all day, you know, starting like 6.30 in the morning. You'd go till the game ended in the afternoon and then get something to eat and get ready for the next day. So when they called the stop to baseball, it changed a lot of people's lives. Gino has spent time coaching as well at the high school level. And during times like this, he has some advice for the players not able to play. Yeah, I would tell them to stay positive with their workouts, stay active. Um, it's very easy to get down right now, but you want to keep your energy positive towards your training and have the, the goal be your, your, your future and, and know what you're looking forward to and uh, work towards that. The two have done some things to help that. Developing glasses called stance check that make you follow the ball with both eyes instead of your dominant one. Right now what we do is, uh, like even in a cage, if it would be the soft toss or just soft overhand toss, even regular BP, if you have space to do it, but uh, what we're really trying to do is get guys engaged more with their vision to put that as a priority to help all the other things that you're doing fundamentally. Close your lead eye, eye close to the pitcher. All part of a way to get better without needing a team to practice. Just some fundamental work. Yes, yeah, stance check is very versatile. That's one thing that's unique about it. It doesn't take uh, technology or anything, add-ons that you need with it. You can just use you in the stance check. It's great for ground balls, uh, vision training, seeing the ball into your glove. And they are producing videos. Simple ways to beat the baseball storm of the coronavirus by working on your game while you wait. So we're putting all that together now. We're going to try and load that up for father, son, father, daughter, mother, daughter, whatever, and both baseball and softball to maybe give you a few activities and ideas to use during this time when we're not playing. But make no mistake, they too can't wait to get back to the game of baseball. Well, let's hope it happens. You know, we need to have it happen, but yet, again, when the time is right, the people in charge will make good decisions and, you know, whatever they can do to try and uh, get this season underway, I'm sure they will. Yes, they will. And 45 years ago, Gene Glenn was named the first ever Mr. Basketball in the oh. state of Minnesota. Just 5'9", packing he just dynamite out there on the How court. How about that? And, uh, was Mr. Basketball and then went on to play the minor leagues. And, of course, was a Paul Molitor staff and has been in baseball ever since he got drafted by the Montreal Expos about 42 years ago. So. Quite a history. What do you hear about the gizmo, the left-right eye yeah. gizmo? You know, it's, it's so simple when you put it on that you can't believe it because you don't realize how you're only using one eye most of the time when you do things like hit. Like a lot of things in life, you only lose one, use one eye. And when they put, you put these on, you have to use both eyes. And that's worked really well for them. Don Baylor was actually the one that invented it. He passed away and was very close to Gene Glenn, so they're just continuing that business. Amelia tells me I should use both my eyes when I read the prompter. There we go. So you might have to get well, that. Well, I started now. I might have to wear that. <laughs> you might have to run out. All right. Thanks for joining us.